Materials scientists are perhaps the unsung heroes of today's technological innovations. Their research makes it possible to engineer new materials, make products safer, cleaner, and have less impact on our environment. Novel materials are often very complex, requiring characterization at a sub-nanometer scale. Transmission electron microscopy is an established technique which enables investigation of the material structure to understand and further improve its properties. Thermo Fisher Scientific has over 30 years of experience developing sample preparation instruments and designing software that enables in-situ and site-specific TEM sample preparation, tools that allow researchers to accelerate their research and fast-track innovation. In 1989, Thermo Fisher Scientific developed its first single-beam gallium fib, allowing sub-microscale site-specific material removal. I don't think anybody realised what a revolution the FIB instruments would be. For example, I'd spent probably four or five years on my own research in the, in the PhD preparing samples for the transmission electron microscope. And I can tell you that the first sample I ever produced that was worth looking at took me six months to prepare. You know, trying different polishing techniques, trying different um, what they call iron beam thinning techniques at the time to try and get a little bit of electron transparent area to look at. When this FIB instrument first came in, I tried one of my samples to prepare it in that instrument. It took me probably the best part of two or three days, but it, it was just an enormous uh, relief. So being able to localize uh, a sample preparation for the transmission electron microscope in those particular areas has allowed the speeding up of research in uh, right across the board. So whether it be an, an, you know, an aircraft alloy uh, for the improvement of, of alloys in, in that industry or turbine blades for engines, that wouldn't have been possible at the rate of change without these instruments. In 1993, Thermo Fisher introduced the world's first dual beam system, the Dual Beam 620. This new instrument combined focused ion beam and scanning electron microscopes into a single platform. My first demonstration was with Professor Rickard Wirth, and he came from the Geofor Centrum in Potsdam, near Berlin, and he brought along a pre-thinned sample, so one of these ones which is, you know, 100 microns thick and stuck on a little copper grid, and it had all these uh, small olivine inclusions in a substrate, and he wanted me to try and thin down this section and capture one of these small inclusions, which he was expecting to be diamond, within that thin section. There's a few problems. Olivine is, is an insulator. So as you thin it, you start getting charging and then you see this thing buckling around. It really wasn't very nice. I was very hesitant and I said, right, let's try something else. So I turned it on its side, this small three millimeter grid and stuck it in the microscope and started preparation for an exit you lift out instead. So that's the image I've shown previously, and, and there you see these thin sections on the surface where each one I've gone to thin down on a diamond inclusion. We lifted them out and he immediately got his results. And what he said later on was that this was the first time he'd managed to get results from this. And so this ex situ lift out meant that we could aim at a particular feature, so these little inclusions of diamond, and that we could thin it down in a more consistent way rather than the pre-thinned. I mean, as Dr. Wirth found, there was no other way for him to actually get these very small diamond inclusions within, a, within the TEM foil that he could go and study. And so then he could justify getting those funds from his uh, scientific body to actually go ahead and purchase a, a microscope to do this. Whereas the past, microscopes were seen as something that you'd use as a tool to go and look at things rather than actually modify or make them. As both industry and academia began to adopt TEM sample preparation using dual beam systems, there became a demand for higher throughput. In 1998, Thermo Fisher addressed this need for automation with the first generation AutoTEM software. The FIB has now pretty much taken over sample prep for TEM and a lot for cross-sectional analysis with SEM and things like that. In that 2000 to 2005 time frame, we got used to using the FIB and making samples so quickly that the TEM 
operators were no longer just sitting there waiting for the best sample to come along. That really was a game changer for us. Uh, and so we branched out into making all sorts of materials with the fib even branched out early into the polymer world and started to make some samples of polymers with it and learn new things about that as well as far as the uh, interaction of the ions with a polymer. Thermo Fisher has always seemed to be at the forefront of automation. The automation starting back in the early 2000s really made a difference in throughput and our capacity in the laboratory to keep up with the sample demand. In 2007, the second generation of Thermo Fisher's automation software for TEM sample preparation was created, supporting ex situ workflow and sample size customizability. The addition of a graphic user interface significantly improved the ease of use, especially for new operators. In 2009, inverted sample preparations started to be used regularly by dual beam instruments to mitigate the curtaining effect during sample preparation. Thermo Fisher scientific application specialists were at the forefront in developing novel ways to improve TEM samples using site-specific TEM sample preparation with the FIB. In 2011, Thermo Fisher Scientific introduced the first fully integrated nano manipulator, EasyLift, with motorized rotation for consistent in situ preparation of high quality ultra thin TEM lamellae. EasyLift was fully controllable inside the dual beam graphical user interface, enabling faster and easier sample preparation. These advances of the instruments, techniques, and software answered the call of multiple industries to help keep up with the rapid pace of technology. For example, the development of dual-phase steels for lighter and cheaper automotive bodies, clean energy solutions with solar cells, new generation batteries, and energy storage, smaller and more economical semiconductor devices, and lighter and stronger composite materials for the aerospace industry just to name a few. In 2016, the Phoenix FIB column delivered breakthrough technology with unprecedented low KV FIB performance for highest quality TEM sample preparation. In 2019, AutoTEM 5 revolutionized automated sample preparation for users of all skill levels. It was the first time fully automated sample preparation, including in situ lift out with the EasyLift manipulator, was commercially available on the Helios dual beam for all materials. Now, anyone, not just the highly skilled operators of yesteryear, can reliably produce high quality ultra thin TEM samples on a dual beam. Also in 2019, Thermo Fisher Scientific introduced the world's first commercial instrument with fast, switchable, multi-ion species PFIB source. The Helios Hydra Dual Beam enables the user to tailor the ion species for specific material and application needs to optimize processing conditions and achieve highest quality results for a broad range of materials with xenon, argon, oxygen, or nitrogen ions. And in 2021, the newest generation of the Helios Hydro Dual Beam became compatible with AutoTEM 5 software for fully automated sample preparation using various ion species. Over the past couple of years, there's been some technology advances brought to the Helios Hydra that really has enabled uh, better TEM sample preparation. And two of those are first, the ability for a user to be able to use ultra low voltage ions for their final polishing steps. So initially, the Helios Hydra of course brought the ability to switch gas species to change the ions, to tailor your ion species to your sample. And with the Helios 5 launch at the end of 2020, the user then had the ability to use accelerating voltages down to 500 volts for any of those ion species. And what that really meant for users is that they could really achieve near no damage sample preparation by employing recipes of using, say, a plasma focused ion beam of xenon for the bulk lift out and initial thinning steps. And then in the final thinning steps, where you're using low voltage to get a very transparent specimen with near no damage, 
you could then automatically switch to Argon and use 1KB or 500 volt polishing to finish that sample off, all the while being able to image your sample preparation process with the SEM in the Hydra. The second advancement that is really critical for TEM sample preparation is the ability to use the fully automated sample preparation process in AutoTem 5 with the Helios Hydra. Thermo Fisher Scientific celebrates over 30 years of TEM sample preparation. Today, FIB sample prep has evolved into a fully automated, fast and repeatable process. We celebrate the scientists who use our systems and those who provide the feedback that fuels innovation. We look forward to what the future brings. One thing is certain, we will keep serving science. We will constantly think about advancing our instruments so customers have the freedom to be bolder and more innovative. It's our pleasure to work with you scientists around the world and support you making the world healthier, cleaner and safer.